In 2022, NEO delivered a total of 122,486 vehicles, representing an increase of 34% from 2021. This is lower than a lot of us were expecting. In the last yearly delivery video, I was expecting deliveries to be above 150,000 units for the year 2022. Due to the difficult COVID-19 situation in China last year, deliveries came in way lower because of production interruptions caused either by supply chain fluctuations or by complete factory shutdowns. In today's video we will take a look at what this year's delivery number could look like. It is to mention that there are a lot of variables that come into play and that I cannot include every single one of them. My estimation of the deliveries for 2023 will be based on past delivery data, the statements of NEO personnel and of course my own perspective. One variable I did include is for example that the first two quarters are usually the weakest quarters of the year. Other factors like subsidies also play a role regarding vehicle sales and with it vehicle deliveries, but for me such factors are simply impossible to include. Another influence for example is that NEO still has to work on their supply chain. According to William Lee, the issue should be solved by the end of the first quarter 2023. I will categorize the deliveries by the car models so we get a full table of the 2023 deliveries at the end of the video. Now let's start with the delivery number estimations. NEO ES6, EC6, and ES8. Beginning with the most difficult delivery number estimation is the one of the old SUV models of NEO. Last year, the delivery numbers of these three models have decreased significantly. With almost 10,000 units per month in January and March 2022, deliveries of the three original first-generation platform models were very strong. But with the launch of the second-generation vehicles, deliveries decreased over the whole year, with only 2,688 units for December 2022. There are multiple reasons why the number has decreased so fast. First, these models are running out as they are based on the outdated first-generation vehicle platform of NEO and will be replaced by the likes of the EC7 and the new ES8 and maybe in the future by the second-generation ES6 and EC6. Second, all the vehicles except for the ET5 are assembled in NEO's first factory in Hefei. With the growing delivery number of the ES7 which is positioned between the ES6 and ES8, production numbers of the old models are likely down because of the ES7 production volume. Third, the sales numbers of the elder models are very weak. Lately I saw a chart where the EC6 and ES8 sales each only made up 2% of the overall sales. There is a possibility that those first-generation models will be retired as soon as their second-generation counterparts will start with the deliveries. So far there is nothing official that hints the end of the first-generation platform models. To be more conservative, I will go for an estimation of 800 to 1,200 units per month for the ES6, the EC6 and the ES8 in 2023. NEO ET7 I will try to keep this short as the ET7 estimation is more straightforward. Starting from March 2022, the ET7 delivery numbers averaged around the 3,000 units mark for the second half of 2022. NEO's initial delivery target of the ET7 is around 5,000 units per month and my guess is that they will slowly grow the delivery number until they reach that 5,000 units mark by the end of 2023. NEO ES7 with a delivery number now around 4,000 units per month, the ES7 is the car with the highest production volume in NEO's first factory, even surpassing the NEO ET7. I don't think that that number will be much higher during the year, because there will be also the new ES8 and the EC7 which are more or less in the same segment as the ES7. So for the ES7, I will go with an average delivery number of 3,000 to 4,000 deliveries per month. NEO ET5 for the ET5, my delivery expectation is rather high. As the current best seller for NEO, I am not expecting that this number will shrink much during this year. The fact that currently the ET5 is the only model assembled in the new NEO Park factory only strengthens my opinion. I do think that by the end of 2023, ET5 delivery numbers should reach the 10,000 units per month. 
when a Credit Suisse analyst asked NEO in the first quarter conference call of 2022 what the expected delivery number of the ET5 will be, NEO too said that they aim for a monthly delivery number of around 10,000 units. As the growth of the ET5 deliveries is strong and the car seems to be very well received by the public, I think that sooner or later this number will be very likely reached. In December 2022, the monthly delivery number of the ET5 was at 7,594 units. During this year, NEO could be launching a shooting brake version of the ET5, but this is not sure for now and I won't include the model in my estimation. If launched, I also think that the ET5 and the ET5 shooting brake numbers would merge together to the mentioned 10,000 units per month number. NEO EC7 and new ES8 with the delivery starting from May 2023, the EC7 will be positioned in the same segment as the ES7. So looking at the ES7 numbers, I will take the same numbers as I did with the ES7 but lower them so I get a monthly delivery number of 2,000 to 3,000 units. Why lower? Even though I think that the EC7 is a huge upgrade to the EC6, I will stick with the delivery numbers of the past. As for comparison, the ES6 also did outsell the EC6. The same will likely happen with the ES7 and the EC7. The usual SUV seems to be outselling their SUV coupe counterpart. For the new ES8, I will simply go with a monthly delivery number of 1000 to 1500 units per month. By the public delivery numbers of the old ES8 in the beginning of the year, the deliveries ranged from 750 to 1,700 units in 2022. Those could of course be also higher, but we don't know if the new vehicles will be assembled in the new Neo Park factory or in the old one. Delivery of the new ES8 will start in June 2023. Now, for the deliveries of the year 2023. As I already mentioned in the beginning, it is literally impossible to get the exact delivery number but with the right approach, it can be in a certain range within the actual number. Therefore, I do rely on multiple sources and thought processes. I hope that you can at least relate to the thoughts behind the numbers. Now with my estimation, NEO could have a total delivery number for 2023 of around 210,000 units. This would be an increase of 71.4% in year-over-year -year deliveries. To some this might seem unrealistic, but keep in mind that before 2022, NEO had a two-year, year-over-year growth of over 100%. Last year there was a lot of obstacles in NEO's way and yet they still managed to increase their deliveries by 34%. Monthly deliveries would range from 12,000 to 24,500 units. And with the 16,000 delivered units in December, it would be a 53% increase from December 2022 to December 2023, which is basically what NEO had this year. With both their factories, NEO has a total production capacity of 600,000 cars per year since July 2022, according to a post of a NEO worker in the NEO app. What are your estimations or expectations for the delivery numbers for 2023? Or have you a similar delivery target for NEO in mind? Let me know your opinions in the comments.